they are trying to <laughs> to remove this huge S tree. Oops. Nearly. And use a little bit more speed. Yes. Oh, after our uh, really nice early, early morning swim, we did a hike and now we're on the campsite, which is epic actually. We read on the internet that you might find a wombat. So finally, I have seen a wild wombat. So check. That's done! This is so cool. Just walking around on the campsite. And Caroline told me that on the, uh, like the riverside there are many many holes. So probably more um, family will join him later. And there. Spotting the kangaroos. There, after my thing Yeah, I see that. Oh yeah. And there's on the Well Tim, what are you doing? I'm... Uh... Having some fresh burger patties. The burgers are already. Uh, the rest of the food is already finished. We were too hungry to record something. Chick pie burger, tuna melt. Did you like the tuna? It was tasty. Did you like the chick pie? Yes. And besides that, we have a dinner visitor. Wombat burger. A wombat, not a wombat burger. Look over there. Somebody filming this as well. <laughs> Mother and a baby were under our car. So sweet. We are in Heinz Beach, really nice, beautiful white sand. It's a day use area with many vans who just stay the night over here. Behind me is the beach, and over there, got a little tent. And that's where Kalein stayed the night. So, good morning! How was your sleep over here with this beautiful view? It's Friday already. Kalein is already for one week over here. That goes really fast, eh, Kalein? Yeah. We are road tripping to Melbourne and we have some nice spots down the road. We just came from uh, like a rock, like a hole in the rock, which was just nice. So Not the Australian rock because it's in the shape of Australia. Freaking hot today. Hot today. Freaking, freaking hot today. We decided to go a little bit inland again. Tim is preparing some coffee. Coffee time. Delicious. We are now in Bombala and they say it's the platypus region. If you don't know what a platypus is, just search on the internet or hopefully we can show you by finding one. Oh yeah. So far, no platypus. No platypus. We're now in a Bombala platypus reserve. Caroline saw two platypus and yeah. I saw one. But is it difficult to picture them? It's really, really difficult. They're dark brown and the water is dark brown as well. Go to uh, Bombala if you want to check also uh, <laughs> platypus and out. Quite the opposite of the crowd at these girls. Sometimes a wooden bridge. How many cars did we see? One. That's the outback feeling. I'm ready for the snowy mountains. <laughs> that's where we wanted to go, but that's not gonna work with a car. <laughs> Lost in the snowy mountains national park. Yeah, reading. <laughs> Nice. So we're on our way to Mount Ellery, or at least we think we are on the right way. <laughs> well, that's gonna be difficult. 
they are trying to <laughs> to remove this huge S tree from the roads. Always handy. You got the um, connection over here, Jim. Whoop, whoop. We made it, Mount Ellery. Redox! Is that the climbing part? Yeah, some part. probably. After a night hike with some uh, visitors, leeches. Oh yeah, bloedzuigers. We finally reached the top, and it's really mystical. Clouds everywhere. The view is actually super shitty, but somehow also mesmerizing. Yeah. yeah, and mystical, and I like that. Something different than those epic views, actually. Huge as rocks over here. The views are fantastic. There were some weird animals. Okay, go. It is uh, pretty slippery. <laughs> really slippery. Caution. This is all slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, it's slippery. It's the next morning, super nice weather, sunshine, blue, bright sky. We are still a little bit cold from yesterday. Our personal baked beans and eggs cook is already making some brekkie. And that smells fantastic. And then we go south again. Let's go to the beach, beach. The Wilson's Promontory National Park, pretty close to Melbourne. We will first do a wildlife walk and then uh, walk up Mount Oberon and hopefully another nice spot for some drone shots. We expected a little bit more wildlife on this wildlife walk. Saw a kangaroo or two. at Squeaky Beach with some beautiful rocks, blue, clear ocean, some squeaky sands. Do this shit. Here we right? come. What are you guys doing? Flying Getting the best shots our, in. Uh, with our toy.
a few months in the East Coast. We didn't see any sunset and it looks fabulous. <laughs> We have approximately four layers of clothes because we're gonna sleep on the beach. Not because it's a hot summer night, but just because we'd like to try that one time. It's super dark around here, so I'm excited. How about you guys? Absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> to an epic night. <laughs> oh, what a night. Morning, how was your sleep? Amazing. Not bad. How was your last night in your tent? Amazing. <laughs> where, where was the tent located? Here. <laughs> there, it next to the car. It was actually uh, really wet. So my whole tent from the outside and the inside <laughs> was wet. And I got drops on my head. It's a beautiful thing over here. But rain just goes like clop, clop, clop. When we're driving from one way to another place. I'm always lying in the back. And this is my view. It's Melbourne! Wednesday, the 9th of January. We uh, arrived in Melbourne. Yeah, it's pretty thick, yeah. I would like to have it super um, simple. Yeah, lovely. No, yeah. That's so straightforward, that is fine. Did you not decide all three? How are you feeling? Uh, a little bit nervous, but also really excited. Currently waiting for Rian, who is having a tattoo on her wrist. Really nice one. Really curious how it will look like. What did you get? A uh, tattoo. Ooh la la. Yeah, it's not visible, so it's still a surprise. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. But my heartbeat was. Uh, <laughs> like that. Give it some treatment and some air. But I'm pretty happy with the result. The Victorian Night Market. Is that right? Yeah. Definitely one of the biggest night markets I've been to. And now, I'm gonna grab a beer. Or a cocktail. Or a cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. That was the first time I really You got enough here. Can you hear me? Yes. Good night. Good night. Second day of Melbourne. Second day. What's the plan today? The CBD. Gilda. Yeah, and in between we go to the Royal, Royal Botanical Garden and maybe, hopefully, some penguins. Okay, the first stop at uh, State Library of Victoria and I think it's the most beautiful library I've ever been to. The State Library of New South Wales in Sydney was already pretty pretty. This one is even more pretty. It's yeah, I don't know. I just love the libraries over here. Well, Tim is um, editing in the Fantastic Library of Seoul. Colette and I are shopping for um, party outfits. And I think this is the most girly changing room I've ever been into. Where are we going to? Royal Botanical Gardens. We're going to get some drum for You look 
so fancy. Let's do this again. Cycling as a Dutchie. Never look so fashionable on a bicycle. Where are we, Tim? I'm sure it's for food. Yeah, we made a nice Dutch cycling tour. Berlin uh, also liked it. Two burgers, one kidney bean thing. Enjoy! <laughs> that was some tasty food. We're gonna see if we can find some penguins. Maybe with a beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. January and it's my last day together with these crazy people over here. Rian just brought us some really delicious lunch. We are on the airport bringing Caroline away. So a moment of goodbye which we all don't like. Nope. Bye bye Caroline. Caroline <laughs> We definitely had a great fantastic. time, we had a fantastic time with Yuka Lion. Thank you for visiting us. That also concludes this video. We hope you liked it. In the next videos, we will go to the Great Ocean World, another epic national park, and then the Australian festival season will start. Yes. And we're gonna go to two really, really special festivals, volunteer over there, and of course, we will bring the camp. And then our Australia journey is over and our road trip will start. <laughs> <laughs>